I just want to ask you, what's your opinion about the um, University of New South Wales um, saying that um, in the curriculum that this land was uh, invaded by the uh, British in the 1788? What's your opinion about that? I reckon uh, that if you're... You know, If uh, anyone says that Aboriginal people weren't dispossessed from their land by uh, the British settlement, they're telling lies. We, this, we, so been... would you describe this, that's the question, I'll as, tell you what, as an I, invasion? If I was Aboriginal, I wouldn't exactly call it a welcome, would you? Yeah, I'm asking you what you call it. We'll go back to, first of all, uh, Doug, are you an Aboriginal person? Yes, mate, yep. yeah. Okay, so what's the answer you want to hear? Well, the, 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 the answer, what I want to hear, is that the government is spending heaps of money on the recognised campaign, and, and there's also um, people talking about a treaty. Unfortunately, I disagree with both because I can't handle when um, kids were being, you know, the brut brutally, you know, killed yeah. back in those days. But what I do agree with is that if the, if the, Com uh, if the Commonwealth would look at um, enacting section 121 of the Australian Constitution to give Aboriginal people their own statehood. You're giving us everything else that we want, but unfortunately, the next phase that we need is to be governed by ourselves, and the Constitution is, is for everybody in this country to give us, give us our right to be governed by ourselves. That's okay. what I reckon. All right, I'm just going to go back to the original question, because I want to hear an answer about whether you regard uh, the, the British coming into this country as an invasion. If I was an Aboriginal or Indigenous person, yes, I would. Uh, if you were you. Well, my parents, my ancestors came out here as convicts, so yeah. I don't feel that the convicts were part of the invading force, if that's any good. Yeah. They, they didn't have any choice coming here either. Um, but I want to go to the issue. You, 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 meant, you made a whole power of points there. I'll be quick. I actually think uh, there's been too much argument in this country about the very stuff you're raising. Correct. Aboriginals were dispossessed off their land. This was Aboriginal land. It is, it always will be. Um, secondly, we've had arguments initially, it was terra nullius, they said no one was here. Well, that's a bit harsh. That's not right. Uh, and then we've had arguments about what's the best form of reconciliation. And there's been some people who say it's about practical reconciliation. I think that's right. Then other people say it's about symbolic reconciliation. I think that's right too. Changing the constitution, having discussions about what a treaty settlement and all that looks like. There's been a false argument going on in Australia about are you a practical person or you're a symbolic person, they're both important. Do I think that there should be a separate Aboriginal state? No. But do I think that we should have the, uh, our first Australians mentioned in the National Birth Certificate, the Constitution? Yes. Do I think we need to move beyond just constitutional recognition to talking about what a, a post-constitutional recognition settlement with Indigenous people looks like? Yes, I do. Could it look like a treaty? Yes. So, so, that, so that, sorry, is that something you might move towards in government, a treaty? Well, what I've said, again, I just have a sense, Tony, maybe you think I'm a little harsh on you, there's a little bit of gotcha going on here. No, no, it's not gotcha, it's a question no, well, based on what you just said. Well, when you said right. yes, I assumed certain things. Yeah, <laughs> but you can. I think you were just surprised to hear me say yes. I was. Um, <laughs> that's my point. So... I, I just go uh, uh, quickly. Oh, sorry. Hang on, Tony. You asked right. me six questions there. No, I asked you one. Six yeah. times. Um, <laughs> I'm actually. This is a serious issue, and you know, all sort of good humour aside, I do think that this country is not handling Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people well. I actually do think it's a disgrace. The very opening question by Colin, I think it was, is what are moments in this election where you sort of fear you can go off script? Well, I actually think that calling out racism in this country isn't part of the said election script, but it's true. I actually think it is a disgrace of some mammoth proportions that a young Aboriginal man in this country who's aged 18 is more likely to go to jail than to go to university. I think that's a disgrace. Now, I don't think Australians, if they hear that fact, would disagree with me. I do not like the idea that in parts of Australia, your skin colour is a predictor of whether or not you're going to get a custodial sentence. So I do think the issues that Doug are raising are right, and I do think there needs to be a discussion about should you have a treaty or shouldn't you have a treaty, but what I'm not going to do is give all the answers on one spot at one time, but what I can promise Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people is it's not an accident that we've prioritised the pre-selection of Linda Burney. 
or prioritise the pre-selection for the Labor Party of Pat Dodson. I think it is important that we have more Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders in the Parliament of Australia. No more people, you know, making decisions for Aboriginal people. The more that you've got Aboriginal leaders, and the Libs have got uh, Ken White, that's excellent. You know, there's a rate... The parties have tried to work towards it. I've made it a priority in my party as leader. OK. I think that the more empowerment we give for young Aboriginal leaders, for Aboriginal leaders generally to control their own destiny, the better this country will be and the more equal it'll become. Thank you very much, Doug. We've got to move on.